you and they're helping more. I'm awfully sorry, sir, but the dishes... Oh, bother the dishes. Do them later. You know you've got to help her make up changes. Yes, sir. Now get going before I lose my temper now, but come on, get going, get going. And now, gentlemen, it has always been my aim to give you the best entertainment that money can buy. I have brought here a great expense. Ah, uh, get a piece of fat and slide off. Who said that? Harry and Lola are getting restless. Well, I gotta look good, don't I? Yeah, but one of them took a shot at me. Oh, quit your whining. Oh, Harry. Say, if we ever get enough money together, we'll get out of this one-horse tank. Come on, Harvey. How do I look? Like a million. Come on! <laughs> Having a swell gal like Lola? I certainly am. What do you mean? Why, she's the lucky one being married to a swell fella like me. Huh. That's me.
Two miles from town. Well, I'll never make it. I've got one foot in the grave now. Hey, go over and stop him. Maybe we can pick up a ride. I'll get my clothes on. Hurry up.
Are you going to Brushwood Gulch? <laughs> we are too. A lot of weather we've been having lately. <laughs> <laughs> It's only four months to Christmas. <laughs> Do you believe in Santa Claus? No. <laughs> Do you mind if I put my hand right? messing with our women. Now, if you want to stay healthy, you better catch the next coach out of town. Why, yes, sir. We'll be glad to, just as soon as we're finished with our business. And if you miss the next coach, you'll be riding out of here in a hearse. Good day, stranger. Good day, sir. Goodbye. Let Come well enough in. alone. Silly boy. Come in, Mr. Francis. Come in, Mr. Francis. Silly boy. Left a glance. Come on, Mr. Francis. Silly boy. 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 Silly boy
my chance. What'll it be? Uh, do you happen to know whereabouts of a young lady by the name of Mary Roberts? Sure. She's around here someplace. Oh, uh, I'm Miss Roberts' guardian. What do you want to see her for? Well, we have some very important news for her. Oh, what's it about? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but we're not supposed to discuss that with anyone but her. Yeah, you see, it's private. Her father died and left her a gold mine, and we're not supposed to tell anybody but her. See? Didn't we, Ollie? A gold mine? It's the biggest thing this Now that he's taken you into our confidence, you might as well know the rest. and we're supposed to give it to her in person. What? I said, we've got the deed to the property at the wall. Say, you better show it to him. Maybe he doesn't believe us. It's the truth. Say, did I give you the deed? Oh, I know where it is. Excuse me. Miss Mary Roberts. Uh-uh. Good. Well, I'll go and find her for you, but don't tell a soul about it till I get back. We won't. Thank you. It's a good thing we found her. What do you mean? There's a couple of desert rats downstairs looking for Mary Roberts. What about it? They've got a deed to a very valuable gold mine left to her by her father. And they're here to deliver it to her in person. Well, ain't that just grand? It would be if you were Mary Roberts. I got you, but I'd never get away with it. Sure you would. They've never seen Mary Roberts. Then it's a cinch. It's as tough as shoe leather. Think you can do it? Can I do it? For a gold mine, I could be Cleopatra. That's the girl. Bring him up. I will help you. Oh. Hey. If you come upstairs, I'll introduce you to Mary Roberts. Right away, sir. Did you call me, Mr. Finn? No. Oh, no. Get back into the kitchen where you belong. Go ahead now. Don't bother. Listen, gentlemen, come right this way. Just uh, sit yourselves down and I'll go and get Lola. I mean, Mary, for you. I've already told her the news and she's terribly shocked. Lola, they're here. Swell, kiddo. Put these in your arms. These are the gentlemen I was telling you about.
tell me. Tell me about my dear, dear daddy. Is it true that he's dead? Well, we hope he is. They buried him. Oh, it can't be. What did he die of? I think he died of a Tuesday. Or was it Wednesday? Do you remember? I'll handle this delicate situation. Little lady, you've heard the worst. Now prepare yourself for the best. Now cheer. Smile. That's right. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. That's right. Any bird can build a nest, but it isn't everyone that can lay an egg. Is it, Ollie? That's right. Do you realize that you own one of the richest gold mines in the world? Oh. Your father left you the whole property. And he gave me the honor of presenting you with the deed. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Uncle Finn? Yes, my dear. <laughs> One of these gentlemen dropped us at the foot of the stairs. Oh, oh, my! thank you, little lady. You don't know what you've done. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. There you are. Signed, sealed, and now delivered. Oh, thank you so much. Not at all. Come, Stanley, we'd better be going. Yeah. Oh, say, what about the locket? That's right. We've I got something else for you. I almost forgot it. <laughs> and besides that, your father left you this family heirloom. Oh, yes, I, I remember it well. Help me get it off, sir. Try and open it again. I think so. in just a moment. We got it. We're going in 
change. Pardon, Mr. Hester. Say, Ollie. What? Now that you've got your clothes off, why don't you take a bath? Would you mind leaving the room? Can't I ever have a little privacy? Oh, just trying to kill two birds with one stone. And I'll take care of those two bozos and get them out of town. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. I've done pretty good up to now, haven't I? You certainly have. I wish you were in my shoes. <coughs> I oh, that... how about a drink on the house? That suits me fine. How'd you get dressed so quick? None of your business. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Roberts, and thanks for the use of your boudoir. You're very well. Goodbye. Now that you've got the mine, I bet you'll be a swell gold digger. <laughs> What's your name for? I'll send the right up. You have a fine night deed over to us. Oh, don't worry about me. Get those guys out of town and pronto. All right. What a cinch. Uh, give the gentleman the best in the house. Yes, sir. I'll be back in a minute. Virginia stands a lonesome pine. Just below is the cabin home of a little girl of mine. Her name is June, and very, very soon she'll belong to me. For I know she's waiting there for me neath that lone pine tree. Mountains of Virginia, on the trail of the lonesome pine, in the pale moonshine, a heart sings wine, where she carved her name, and I carved mine, or June, or June, just like the mountains of blue, like the pine, I am lonesome for you. On the trail of the lonesome pine. In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, on the trail of the lonesome pine. In the pale moonshine, our hearts entwine. Why she carved her name, and I carved mine. Oh, June, like the mountains, I'm blue, like the pine. I am lonesome for you. Oh, don't mention it, darling. I run right along with your work. Yes, ma'am. Well, here's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got to be going. Well, so have we. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Fenn. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Fenn. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good time. Goodbye, Miss, uh, uh Miss, uh... uh... Roberts. Mary Roberts. Goodbye, Miss Roberts. Goodbye. Did you hear what she said her name was? Sure, Mary Roberts. How can she be Mary Roberts when we've just given the deed to Mary Roberts? I don't know. I 
I smell a rat. I smell something, too. Did you ever have a father by the name of Cy Roberts? Why, yes. He left me here with these people years ago, when he went prospecting. Well, who's that woman upstairs? That's Lola Marcel, Mr. Finn's wife. She's my legal guardian now. Can I speak to you for a minute? Pardon us. Yes, we'll be right back. I think we've given that deed to the wrong woman. That's the first mistake we've made since that guy sold us the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, buying that bridge was no mistake. That's going to be worth a lot of money to us someday. Well, maybe you're right. We'd better go and get the deed. Say, maybe they won't give it back to us. What do you mean they won't give it back to us? We'll get that deed or I'll eat your hat. That's what I call determination. Come on. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> she fell for it like you fell for me. <laughs> Lola, my girl, we're sitting pretty. Who's there? Me. Me who? Uh, me who? Well, what do you want? Out of my way, you snake in the grass. You toad in the hole. Say, you slugs, what do you mean busting into life there? We want to know why you are not Mary Roberts. I'll take care of this matter. So you got wise, huh? Well, if it's a sea giraffe, you're just out of luck. <laughs> you get back! Take it, Stan! Get it! No, 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 no,
Now! <laughs> now! Get out of here! Who's there? The sheriff! Just in the nick of time! <laughs> now we'll get justice! Come in, Sheriff. You're just the man I'm looking for. And you're just the man I'm looking for. Oh, thank you. This man... Oh. <laughs> I thought I told you two dudes to catch the next coach out of town. Yes, sir. Well, it left ten minutes ago. It did? Well, maybe we'd better try and catch it. We'll get it. Oh, right, sir. Get it. Get it. taking any chance going back there tonight and robbing that safe, do you? Chance or no chance, we've got to get that deed back. And just as soon as my clothes are dry, that's exactly what we're going to do. I think that's a good idea. You know, if that girl ever found out... Give me a light. Those matches are soaking wet. Thank you. <laughs> See if my clothes are dry. Your hat's dry. Well, that reminds me. You made a statement this afternoon. Did I? Mm -hmm. You said that if we didn't get the deed, that you'd eat my hat. Oh, now you're taking me literally. Nevertheless, I'm going to teach you not to make rash promises. Eat the hat. Oh, that's silly. Who ever heard of anybody eating a hat? Who ever heard of anybody doing that? Eat the hat. I won't do it. If you don't eat that hat, I'll tie you to a tree and let the buzzards get you. Would you really do that? I certainly would. <laughs> eat it.
What you want to go and push me in there like that for? You are the dumbest thing I ever saw. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we climb up on the shed, then we can get onto the balcony, and we can go in that door, and it'll save us going through the front. Now, that deserves consideration. Shh. Shh. Get a ladder for you. Won't be a minute. Shh. I'm going to get a ladder for you. Shh. Shh. We'll follow our original plan and go through the property. Now go ahead. Another idea. If it's anything like the last one, yes. What is it? How about me pulling you up on the block and tackle? Daisy. Now don't get fancy. Just get me up there. Wait a minute, last spit on me hands. All right. Oh! Oh! Daisy. <laughs> 
Spit on them again to make sure. your hand. Hold out your hand. This one. <laughs> now tie that on mule. Tie that on the mule. Get on the mule. Get on the mule. Saddlebag. You better hand them to me. Okay. to get the mill down. Never mind that now. We'll attend to that later. Maybe we can get in through here. That's a good idea. Shh. 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 Wait there. We'll be right up. Shh, 
Come on in, and I'll tell you all about it. Shh. Holly. What? Wait there, I'll be right back. to get the deed, she's going to leave town with us. Good. Yeah. Where is she now? She's putting on her clothes and she's going to meet us outside. That's fine. Right. Now get me out of this, will you? <laughs> Take it easy now. You, you can't. You can't do it that way. <laughs> Take it easy. Maybe I can pull you all the way. Go, you joking! Say 
and give us that deal. Hurry up. Get back in that room. Go on, get in there. Now give us that deal. Come on, take it, Sam. Now get in there and get to bed. Go on, by out. I want something for this. I'll shut up. Well, you can't do this, Payne. I'll get you a... You go and get Donna. I'll take care of him. Let me get up and... Take me out of this... Let me kill that... Oh. Take it. Troubles are over. Where do we go from here? Well, I'd like to go back to the town where I was born. Where is that? Way down south. Are you from the south? I sure am. Well, Ben Ma Brow, I'm from the south. You are? Mm -hmm. Well, shut my mouth. I'm from the south, too. South of what, sir? The south of London. London. Honey, we'll all go down to Dixie. Oh, for a slice of possum and yam. Ooh. Yes, sir, and some good old fish and chips. I can smell them. Fish and chips. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go way down in Dixie, where the hens are dog on bread to make. Scramble eggs in the new morning. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see the home in Dixie. You can tell. I know how to spell it. Then we're going. Oh, we're going. You know we're going. Oh, then we're going to a home in Dixieland. We're going to go. <laughs> 